A rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Would Coca-Cola by any other name taste the same? Would a Mercedes by any other name drive the same? Like these large corporations, can a small business have brand recognition? Let's see what a brand is worth. I'm Bharat Kanodia, and I'm here to reveal secrets of valuations so you can use them to your advantage. When you hear about big brands like Coca-Cola and Disney, you always hear about what they're worth. How do they arrive at those valuations? Let's take the case of Costco's generic brand, Kirkland. Costco developed Kirkland to provide its customers with the same quality as any premium brand without the premium of a brand name. Now Kirkland as a brand itself is now worth $75 billion. That's right, $75 billion. That is more than the yearly budget of the state of Ohio. But these are corporate giants. What about your everyday small business brands like Christie's Bakery or Jim's Barbershop? What are they worth? Let's go to a fabulous cake shop that's been here on Main Street since 2009, Teeny Cakes. The owner, Michelle Mahoney, has numerous awards and accolades to her name. They make the best cake in 50 mile radius. I mean, their cakes are the go-to for life's major milestone celebrations like first birthday or 25th wedding anniversary. Say Teeny's owner just invested $50,000 in developing a new brand image with fancy logos, vision statements, marketing material, etc. With this investment, would Teeny's owner, Michelle, be able to sell her brand for $50,000, if not more? What if Michelle wants to retire one day? Doesn't she deserve a break after years of hard work? Can she sell or license her brand to enjoy some passive income during her retirement? I will help you understand the kind of cash flow a good brand can provide. The rule of thumb I'm about to give you will apply to all kinds of intangibles and intellectual property, be it patents or trademarks or copyrights or even domain names. I will walk you through my rule of thumb schematic step by step so you understand exactly how to value a brand and the cash flows from its royalties. The link to this flowchart is also in the description below. Step one, a brand only has value when customers buy from it because of its brand reputation of quality and consistency. Or put another way, would Teeny's Cakes income suffer if the brand was changed to say, Dolly's Cakes? If after changing the name from Teeny's Cake to Dolly's Cake, there is a decline in revenue, then Teeny's Cake as a brand has value and may be able to generate passive income for its owner in retirement. Step two, is the business profitable? If yes, then the brand and the business may have value. If not, the brand does not have value or may have minimal value. Step three, whatever is the business's operating profit or EBIT, you can assume that that brand can bring you royalties that are approximately 25% off that operating profit. So if the business is bringing Teeny Cakes an operating profit of 10%, then it could support a royalty payment of about 2.5% on revenue. Therefore, if Teeny Cakes annual revenue is 1 million, then the owner might be able to dictate an annual royalty payment of $25,000. This rule of thumb was rejected in a 2011 court case between Unilock and Microsoft. In this case, the plaintiff was determining damages just based on this rule of thumb. They did not support this rule of thumb with additional analysis and therefore it was rejected. Step 4. 
if Teeny Cake's owner decides to sell the brand and not enjoy the yearly cash flow, then she might be able to sell the brand for 3 to 5x on her yearly cash flow. So let's take an average of 3 to 5x, about 4x. So 4x times 25,000, which is the yearly cash flow from the brand. So the value of her brand is 4x times 25,000, 100,000. If you use this rule of thumb for negotiations or as a starting point, backed by further analysis, you will be on strong grounds. I hope this gives you a good understanding of how brands and royalty payments are valued. John Stewart, chairman of the Quaker Oats Company once said, if I were to split up this business, I would give you the land and the bricks and the mortar, and I would keep the brands and the trademarks, and I would fare better than you would. Thank you for watching.